Hey guys, this is Mac Kids and on with our fourth iPhone programming tutorial. So before I even get started, I'm going to say right now, for those of you who want me to use Xcode 4 or something, I'm not going to use it for now. It's just a developer preview and, you know, in my opinion, I think Xcode 4 really isn't that good. I don't like it. I, I like the old Xcode. Apple didn't have to go and make it look like iTunes. Um, so that's just my personal opinion. Um, and I think I'm going to, for now, stick to the older versions of Xcode, unless I have to compile something for my iPhone 4. Anyway, so, uh, let's, I'm going to, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you, basically, um, it's a pretty simple thing. I'm just going to teach you how to use switches, which are those things, they're either on and off, you can slide them, you know. They're, they're, I, they're one of the few components that I find that almost every professional, even, app on the App Store uses. One of the only default UI components because they really the Apple did a great job and they're just expected at this point by the user and by the developer and I think they're really nice. All right, so let's go up to File for the project. Just gonna press the keystroke or whatever. Application view based application. I'll call it Switch Views for right now. All right, so let's go into our view controller and here I'm just gonna have an ID outlet UI Switch. And I'll call this my switch. Let's have another IB outlet UI label. Well, my label. By the way, guys, um, I don't actually suggest naming variables my label, my switch, or G something. But like, it's easier to come up with a variable name than a meaningful one. So for now, I'm just doing that. I wouldn't. Do it. All right, switch changed. I'm gonna make a new IB action, and this will get called when they change the value of the switch. Alright, and I'll implement that in a minute. One of the things that you guys are complaining about is that after you write the code in the header, in the .h, it doesn't show up in Interface Builder. That's because you're not saving. So, I, I always press Command S a lot. It's just a habit, so like sometimes you'll see up there. I'll just hold it down and keep on pressing it like that. You can just go up to File Save if you're not comfortable. Anyway, now let's open up the Interface Builder. Alright. Let's drag on a label. We can say switch is on. And then let's drag on a switch. And here, this text may need to get bigger in the future. So, Okay, so now let's make an action. We just control click from the on button to files owner. And we say state change, your switch change. And we do the vice versa files owner to the label. Hook it up as my label. And files owner to the switch. Alright. And now we've got it all set up in Interface Builder. Let me just align these in the center. Okay. So now let's go here. Let's implement this. And this is really simple, by the way. I, I think it's pretty easy. There's a Boolean function, so we can say if my switch is on. Then we'll say my label, set text, switch is on. Else, my label, set text, switch is off. Um, if you don't know if statements, you should look at our Java tutorials or our C tutorials. I show you guys if statements again and again in different places. It's the same in Objective-C as it is in C, pretty obviously. So now, if we run, all right. And if I change the state of this switch, it will change to on and off. It's um, in my opinion, it's pretty simple to do. Um, there are tons of other things you can do with it. Obviously, like in this if statement, you can have it do different stuff in here, and you can even do this so you have different else code. You know, so that's pretty much uh, this whole tutorial, and I'm gonna wrap it up by saying a couple things. Um, the first thing is that in my previous tutorials, a lot of people's things didn't work. If it doesn't work, and you did exactly what I did, first of all, you gotta look at my thing. I might have saved or something or done something weird. Um, and then it's probably because you have a different version of Xcode or you didn't. You, you wrote one character wrong or something. 
I mean, it's not really... I'm not going to go through and help everyone who typed, who spelled switch wrong by accident in part of their code or something. But, um, you know, anyway. And another thing I'm going to say is, you, um, you know, iPhone programming, it's great if you just want to learn some things, then that's what I'm going to be making. I'm just going to be showing you guys how to do some stuff with the UI kit and stuff that comes with the thing and is pretty basic to do. But I wanted to know what you guys want to do with the iPhone SDK. And maybe I'll make some tutorials that include stuff that involves that or something like that. It would be great to see what you guys want to do with it. Because there's really a lot of stuff you can do with the iPhone SDK just with, with simple code. And, you know, so give me your input, feedback uh, on what you think you should, you want to see in my uh, iPhone tutorials. And anyway, thanks for watching MacKids 1. Subscribe and goodbye.